If you've been following our journey the last few weeks, you know that my wife is attempting to build her biggest piece of custom furniture ever. And in today's video, we'll make some great progress and run into some serious delays. It's pouring outside. And major roadblocks. So join us for the adventures of my DIY wife and her non-handy husband. Okay, before we get back to work on the cabinet, we have a really cool sponsor for today's video that we wanna share with you. And Ofuzi sent us their Cyber 1200 Pro Pool Vacuum, and it's perfect timing while we get our pool ready for the warmer weather. The vacuum uses a dynamic lighting scheme to convey the machine status to the user. A flashing green light means the robot is functioning normally. A fast green light flashing means the battery is getting low, while a red flashing light indicates malfunctioning. The Cyber 1200 Pro charges in three hours and gives you 120 minutes of use time. It is intelligently engineered with its double navigation path tech, meaning you get the guarantee of complete and efficient coverage of your pool. Equipped with new upgraded dual suction adapters and dual motors of 50 watts, it has enormous suction power. The Cyber 1200 Pro also has auto dock technology, meaning when it's finished, it will stop at the pool wall so you can conveniently pull it up with a hook or floating handle. I love how easy the vacuum is to use. There's no hoses or cords, so I just turn the knob and then watch it clean our pool. After cleaning, it's easy to Rinse the filter in the bottom of the machine so it's ready for next time. So if you're interested in checking out the Cyber 1200 Pro Pool Vacuum, be sure to check out our link in the description below. Today's adventure started with a different guest star. You've only got a little guy in pre-K for so long, and so we decided to take advantage of that and go out for breakfast. How cute is that little guy? Where are we going? I got the shoes. I lost two teeth. You lost two teeth? Yeah. Man, you're a big boy. Here we go, big man. Yeah. We went to one of our favorite breakfast spots and it was quite the event for this little guy. I'm excited, buddy. What, you got orange juice? Is it good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom, is it good? Mm -hmm. I did not expect that to splatter. So after eating a delicious breakfast and paying for the tab, we were ready to head back home. Mm, that was good. You ready to get after it? To go for it? To hammer? Or take a nap maybe? <laughs> Take a nap a first. Healthy latte at home first. I tried a new recipe in our blender. I put two dates plus a little bit of my leftover coffee and some coconut cream because I don't do dairy, but you could use whatever kind of milk. Oh, and then I put like chai spices in there, so like cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, maybe some cloves. I don't know. It was so good though. It was good. You tasted it. I love a good chai latte. It was way better than what I buy at the restaurant. So I said I'm just gonna wait till I get home and make. <laughs> How is it? It's good. And finally, we were ready to get started, uh, sort of. Wait, what? Where'd she go? What are you doing out here? <laughs> Trying to get our pool swimmable, recovered, something like that. <laughs> yeah, we've gathered some nice sludge in the bottom, haven't we? <laughs> oh, this is nothing. Y'all are seeing the pretty version. That was as clean as I could get it without cutting it open. <laughs> but we're wanting to swim in it again, so. <laughs> Yeah, because here in Texas in April, that means we're two months past the first day of swimming for the year. So we got to get this thing up and running, you know? But do y'all remember that time when we like built this pool? Y'all remember that? <laughs> But for now, we need to leave the pool behind and get back onto this cabinet, right? That's true. It's hot though. It's supposed to be like 92 degrees. <laughs> you know, 92 degrees in April. It's just a Texas thing. Wait. 
I like your little lever you got there. <laughs> You're such a mechanical <laughs> genius. Do you know what I mean? You know, those things are a little bit difficult to, to undo, but this makes them really easy. All right, so we just decided that we are finally going to go get a pop-up tent. We've just kind of put it off or we don't think about it, but it's hot and it's only April, so we're like, let's get it now and then we'll have it for all the hot sunny days. So we're not baking out here. Look at us, we're getting smarter. Woohoo! Let's go. This is turning out to be our work day. Ah, uh, just another day with my babe. Going to pick up some more tools, like we do. <laughs> what do we have coming up on the calendar? Road trip to Colorado. Whoa! We are going to be staying on a massive ranch in the middle of nowhere in a log cabin. We are going to stay in a train car. We are going to stay in a yurt. Yurt! Just a few pretty places that I picked up. So, uh, yeah, be looking forward to that. That's coming up this summer. We're going to call it our summer adventure series, something like that. We are actually quite excited about going to Colorado for the summer where it's not so hot. You know what I'm saying? Go for it. Here. You're going straight. And then straight. Hit the light. Go left. Like it's at this light. Like, no, 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 no. Hey, wait. Where are you going? Which way do I go? I'm way. Is it over there? You're gonna take a right at this light. Go down and then hit the next light and take a left. Okay. Whoa. Your GPS guy was way off. You said hit the light and turn left. I know. Hit the light. Go left. I think <laughs> we're going this way. Oh, look at this spot. Should I go right there? Let's do this, darling. From there, we went inside Harbor Freight, which is kind of like the discount store for tools. We're inside Harbor Freight. Anything you have to say? Okay, great. <laughs> oh, it's got wheels. It's got wheels. You could probably just drag it. I think I probably managed to cut your head off in a lot of the shots. <laughs> Should I hire somebody else? Or you? <laughs> yes, probably. Let's do a round of applause for the minivan. Woo! Hey. <laughs> hey, you're done. You're done. So after a successful trip to the hardware store, we are ready to get back home and check on the pool. Slowly but surely this thing was filling up and while we waited we went ahead and got the pool system up and running as well. Oh my gosh. And finally after a lot of waiting the pool was filled up and ready to swim in. And after getting home from school, the kids decided to join us outside and grab their guinea pigs to do some homework. What do you have here? Yeah. Guinea pigs. Heck, even the guinea pigs did some homework. <laughs> oh, that is so cold. I want to swim. All right, the Kim's are cool looking. Good enough to swim. All right. Should we go tell the kids the good news? Yes. They've been asking me. That pool is freezing and it is so windy. It's like in the 80s outside, so it's warm, but it's just so windy. Let's go tell you. Good. All right, guess what, boys? What? The pool is ready to swim in. Look at the excitement oh here. God. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Tired, tired boy. There's nothing like the first swim of the year, and these boys took full advantage of it. Bye, polar bears. So after finishing up at the pool, it was finally time to get back to work. Well, we decided to wait till we got the kids. Now we're back and it's not sunny anymore, but we have our tent, so it's ready for next time. So they're in the pool right now. We're gonna get in a little bit of work for dinner. And, and you'll what? hear a lot of background kid noise. Yeah. All right, so next step on this giant cabinet build is making the doors, which are also going to be giant. But I want to make it a little bit more complicated, and on the inside edge, I want to route some kind of cool detail with some of the new router bits I got. So we're going to test some of those out on some scrap wood and figure out what I want to do before we start doing it on the really expensive boards. How am I supposed to get that out of there? Use your power. You got it. Yep. I 
After attaching the rabbiting bit, I made the first pass and could tell that I definitely went a little bit too deep on it because all that was left was a fragile thin sliver of wood. So I had my router bit, I didn't realize this. It was out too far, that's why there's like this little extra piece on there, thin stuff there. So I moved it a little bit. I'm gonna try it again, but I think this might still be taking off too much. That's pretty. My other dilemma is that this will be the inside edge of my door frame, which means that on the back inside edge, I need to use my rabbiting bit where I route out for the glass. And this is all I have left there. So I feel like that's still a little bit too deep. But maybe I'll try moving the bit up just a little bit more. Do it on this side. I don't like it near as much when it doesn't have that little groove. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put my rabbiting bit back on and just see how strong it feels when I take some out of the backside. So I adjusted my rabbiting bit, made another pass, and then realized I needed to switch back to my other router bit to make sure that it still wasn't too deep. After several tries and different adjustments, I finally got the depths right. Once I had everything figured out, I was ready to actually start routing on my long boards. All of these 1x3s will eventually make the sliding glass doors for the front of the cabinet. I had a lot of these boards to do and one thing is for sure, routing takes a long time and it is extremely messy. While I was routing, we were watching the sky get darker and the wind was going absolutely nuts. And so we knew we had a very limited amount of time before these storms finally came in. And when the storms did come in, they came in with force. And once it started raining, it just didn't seem to stop. How's it looking? <laughs> it's pouring outside. It is so wet. Oh my gosh, look at all the water in our yard. It's like a pond in the middle of our yard. So it is almost three o'clock, almost time to go pick up our kids and it is still pouring and it is forecasted to keep raining all the way up until the weekend. <laughs> it's not looking like there's gonna be a lot of furniture building happening anytime soon. But aside from the rain, what's happening tomorrow? <laughs> I get to go get another colonoscopy tomorrow. For those of you who have had one of those before, you know how fun they are. And if you haven't, just count your blessings. So for those of you who have been around for a while, you have probably heard us talk about how I have an autoimmune condition, ulcerative colitis, it's similar to Crohn's. And thankfully I have been able to mostly manage it through just really healthy eating most of the time. But this past month, my health has just kind of been doing this and I've been feeling really crummy. And thankfully I was able to get some last minute doctor's appointments this week. And so yesterday I went to the GI, got some blood work done and they said, you need to do an, col another colonoscopy ASAP, which is tomorrow. So the rain is probably actually a good thing because 
it's probably better that I'm just gonna chill on the couch and not work on furniture today. <laughs> I have been having to learn a little bit this month of how to just slow down, take it easy, work for like half a day, and then just come crash on the couch. Which, if you have been around, then you have heard me talk about how I really thrive on being productive. I love getting things done. I love getting a lot of things done. And so, if you're like me, you know how hard that is. So, just in case anyone was wondering, our life is not all fun and easy and action all the time. I mean, there are very real hurdles that we have just like anybody else does. And uh, yeah, this is just one of those days where we got to slow down and take care of things that are more important than a project. And who knows? I don't know if it's an encouragement to anybody to realize someone like Andrea has like very real obstacles to overcome on a daily basis, but she still does and accomplishes amazing things and so maybe you're watching going, man, I wish I could do X, Y, and Z, but this holds me back. For most of us, we have something that stands in our way on a regular basis, and you just gotta put one foot forward in front of the other. You can do amazing things. Like, you don't have to let that hold you back. And I feel like you're the poster child for that, like, right? go take a nap. That's what you should do when you're feeling really wiped. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so tired? I could use a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. I uh, hate colonoscopy prep. That's what I hate. No food for 36 yeah. hours. I'm hungry. Yeah. And I get to take 24 of these pills, which I'm not complaining because the drink option is awful. Here's my dinner. It's a great time. Mm. I'm gonna be up all night tonight. So that's it for this week. <laughs> that's uh, We made some progress. We hit some roadblocks. <laughs> That's just real life for us. We hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. And in next week's video, you're actually going to get to see us take an adventure with our family to the hill country, which was incredibly cool. Be sure to join us in the next episode. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you there. And we're back. It looks I'm like you're so tired. Looks like you're feeling great. I look really bad. <laughs> you look amazing, actually. I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm bringing my patient back to her bed. It is currently raining like crazy still. Andrea hasn't eaten in about a day and a half, so figured I'd get her a little breakfast. It's just a bunch of vegetables, sweet potatoes and asparagus and such. I also got to talk to Doc on the phone. The doctor's calling in regards to your wife and the procedure. I want to talk to you about the results. And thankfully, everything looks pretty good. Some parts have improved. Other parts have gotten more aggravated. Thankfully, I mean, the big thing is there's nothing cancerous, which I mean, I was almost in tears when he called and said, hey, I want to talk to you about what we found. It's just like, you just don't know with this stuff. And so it feels really good to have you know, a clear report in that sense. Um, and also some answers as to why there were some issues. So all in all, I mean, we're super grateful, super thankful that one, that she was actually able to get in this week, that it's been raining nonstop. So she, we couldn't really work anyways. I mean, it just feels like the Lord kind of like set up all these little pieces and parts. So we're gonna let Andrea rest up, eat a little something, something. I don't know what we're gonna do in all this rain. I, I'll, we'll figure something out. He's still alive in here. I'm bringing you breakfast in your hospital bed. This in bed, yes. I don't know if I should be texting when I'm still kind of drugged. I think I'm at least aware enough. The form did say don't make any big decisions right after your procedure. I've, I've only made a couple of big purchases. <laughs> like what? Dean Davis reporting live from beside the little creek between our house. When it rains a whole lot, this thing fills up and there's a lot of water going through there right now. So it's definitely been raining a lot. What do you have here? Cutting coupons or what? I cut coupons out. You might think this is a coupon cutting hobby, but he's actually just really loves crafting. And so he gets these ads in the mail and then he cuts them up and kind of does his own thing. He'll sometimes glue them to a paper and make a cool creation. He's creative like some other people we know in this family. Anybody with kids know about this? They just take off their socks and throw them in the driveway. What is this about? DQ, that's what I like about Texas.
Oh.